know, Arunachal Pradesh is a huge center for Buddhism. Yeah. So I'm really glad that we're getting to meet a monk. Yeah, and Lama Dashi isn't just a monk, he's a musician. And you know he was nominated the Grammys in the World Traditional Music category? Lama Tashi has been bringing these hills alive with the sound of music. His specialty is a unique multiphonic chant in which he is able to hit multiple notes at the same time. He has a Grammy nomination, has performed at Carnegie Hall, Sydney Opera House and collaborated with international artists like Sheryl Crow and Patti Smith. Then he took us up and uh, they chanted for us. When we were sitting there meditating um, and I was hearing this chanting, honestly it just puts you in a trance. You, know, you, you almost get lost um, when you hear them. What is so unique about this chanting? When you chant, we do not use our normal voice. Right. Instead, we try to create the vibrating sound by putting some kind of pressure on the vocal cord. In the West, they are really surprised and they usually s say that this cannot be a human voice. They took me to see my vocal cord by inserting the camera because I have been chanting that for a long time and the shape is a bit different. So he's also performed at operas in Sydney and Melbourne. He's collaborated with all these Western musicians and it is traditional Buddhist chanting. I mean, I guess that's the beauty of music, right? Who think that Buddhist chanting could have anything to do with international music? But there you have it, yet another person taking India to the global stage in a rather unexpected way. What a Zen way to end this part of our Northeastern journey.